So today we continue from part 12 of our ASP.NET uh, app complete application with SQLite and C Sharp. And today we are going to be adding the image thumbnails of the patients. In the previous class, we added the home uh, image. So if I go back home, actually this is not well linked. If I go back home, we have these two images we added and I showed you how to add them. So if I go to the patient list now, we want to be able to add some patients, uh, some images in the list. Maybe for now, let me just add one or two patients, a little, uh, one more patient. So let me add Helene. Uh, image, email address is Helene at gmail.com and address is number 2029 20, Diak, Diak Budapest and the country, uh, we've not changed this one, we are going to change it later. For now, let's just work on the images and maybe I'm going to just add one more. Let's call this, uh, let's just call it Soles, a Nigerian name. And address is number five, Oko Road, Anambra. That's where she is. Uh, country, maybe country three. Great. All right, so we have three patients now. How do we add thumbnails that appear in the first line, uh, in the first column? That's what we want to do. Again, the procedures are there for you. So let's go to add patient not thumbnails here. The first thing is to create a folder called patients inside the www root asset IMG, IMG directory and place the images there. So the first thing I want to do now, I'm going to my solution explorer here and go to www root uh, IMG directory. I'm going to right click and just add a new folder. Uh, no, not a folded item, but new, uh, new folder here and call it patients all right so here i'm going to place the images of the patients i think i'm not missing out something call it um let's say um patients oh fine so remember we downloaded uh some images i'm just going to show you these images i call them one two three so image assets so these are the images of the patients. I'm going to copy here and I'm going to go to www roots, the patients folder, and then uh, paste it right here. Uh, paste. All right, so I have the images here. I don't know if I've reminded you to subscribe to my channel. So if you have challenges, you can let me know, but please subscribe. Leave me a comment if you have challenges and also please share if it's going to help someone, you never can tell. Uh, so in this way we can build our communities, our, our community. And also if you want to support me a little bit more, just buy me a coffee or support me on Patreon or something. That kind of uh, gives me a very much motivation. All right, so let's see what next to do. Now open the patient's index view. First, I adjust the code to display the country name instead of the country ID. We've done that. Step four says add one more column header before the first column of the table. Let's take all this. So let's go back here and I'm going to um, views, patients, index. That's the instruction open here. And I'm going to add one more th here. All right, um, in this case, I'm going to call it photo. Okay, so this is the header. And now I'm going to also add uh, a TD here. So here I'm going to have the photo. So if I, if I just say photo here, uh, maybe just call it thumbnail here. and I run this application and go to the patient's list, you'll see that we have one more column, 
but containing text. And the instruction is we are going to now add this image there. Okay, but for now it's gonna it's just a static image for now. Let's go back to our application. Alright, so if I go to the patient list now, you can see that we have a, an additional column called thumbnails. Okay, that's fine. So we want to display image there. So the instruction in step 5 says copy this and use it in place. So I'm going to copy this and use it here. Okay, so we have our image or displayed, but this image is a generic image that is not the image of the actual patient. This generic image displays for all the patients. After now, we are going to now see how we can use particular patient images uh, for each of the patients. So while it's coming up, let's see what next steps we have to do. Okay, so we have add a model pop-up, that's the next step. So let's check what displays here first. So if I go to patient list now, you can see that we have a generic image displayed. That is fine. All right, so this next step says, go to Bootstrap website and copy a modal template. Add one more column to your table and a button to open the model and test the model to make sure it works. Once you are sure the model works, you can delete the column. So this is like a mouthful. But first, let's go to Bootstrap uh, uh, website and get um, a modal pop-up template. So Bootstrap modal. Um, just increase the fonts. So we have get Bootstrap. We have modal. So I'm going to scroll down. I have one here. Um, maybe we can go with this one, possibly. Let's see. Okay, there is no button here. Let's check this one. Okay, so we have one now. All right, so we have model. So this is a button that launches the model, and this is a model. So let's start by copying the model. I'm going to copy this model from here and paste it on the patient's page. At the end of the patient's page, I'm going to just paste it right here. And then I'm going to copy the button as well. I'm going to copy the button. And I'm going to place the button as one more column on the table. So I'm going to place the button right here, okay? And just put one more column in the header, th. All right. So we have the model added. So we are, we are now going to test to check if it works. So I'm going to save everything and launch the application. Meanwhile, let me just check if I'm missing out anything from the steps. Okay, so I think it's fine. Okay, so it runs, so let's see. So I'm going to the patient list now and now I have the launch model, and when I click it, nothing happens, as you can see. Nothing happens. Um, so let's correct that first. Um, nothing happens because we need jQuery. Okay, um, let's see. Okay, so we have to be sure that the model works. Um, so what we can do is to just go to uh, the application online and go to um, let's go to views and I'm going to patients and index. I'm going to scroll down. Okay, so there is nothing much here to help us except we we need this jQuery script. So I'm going to copy this jQuery script, but I don't think it matters. 
because what we need is bootstrap. So I'm going to launch the model, it doesn't work, so let's go back.